Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Love, Love with Lori, the podcast. As always, I'm so incredibly happy that you're here. I, oh my gosh, my jaw is actually like a little bit locked right now, so I'm having trouble opening my mouth. Does anybody else have TMJ in the house? Mornings can be challenging. Anyways, you guys, I woke up this morning and was like, you know what? I did a post last week over in the Level Up community on Facebook asking what everybody had planned for Black Friday. And I know for me, um, I really already, like, actually, I've been thinking about Black Friday for a couple of weeks inside of my coaching business and like just trying to come up with something fun and um, working on some content behind the scenes and working on some ideas, fleshing some ideas out. Sometimes it feels like the sky is the limit and there's just so many ideas and it's hard to nail them down, but I'm trusting that this weekend, the final idea is going to come to me and that I'm going to put it into action and, and probably put it out into the world sometime in the next 10 days. I feel like Black Friday keeps getting earlier and earlier every year with all of these companies. So it's almost becoming like November is the this entire sales month. And it's a little bit like what happened to the days when Black Friday, everybody knew when Black Friday was, there was like these four days where you just got your shopping on and like, you knew all the companies that you love, you were going to check out their promos. I think it's like this world now where we're trying to always like one up one another that there's like, everybody's launching a little bit earlier and then a little bit earlier and a little bit earlier. And like, all of a sudden we're launching Black Friday in October, probably next year. Anyways, I wanted to just like hop on here and like kind of help you map your Black Friday out. And I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a segment for those with a network marketing business. And then I'm also going to dig into um, Black Friday for those that have their own online business where you're kind of starting from scratch and not really working or, and you know what, this might like the, the ideas that I put out there for that might be good for those with network marketing businesses whose companies don't necessarily do Black Friday because I think there's, you know, there's a lot of us that don't like that have a company that doesn't that doesn't do Black Friday and and moreover than that some of us know that our companies will do Black Friday but we don't necessarily know what that sale is and it makes it really challenging to prepare for but I still think that there's some things that we can do so that we make sure that we've got that like build up factor so we make sure that we like pique people's interest get them excited and remind them to come back to us so the very first piece of this puzzle um, is kind of our social media presence and our activity and boosting that. And this goes for everyone in the house. Like we, and I mean, we want this at all times of our, in our businesses, but especially before a big sale, especially for a really big push, because we want to get as many eyes on the thing that we're going to be selling. And in order to do that, we need a lot of engagement and excitement and presence going around. So if you're on Facebook, I think what I would do if you have a Facebook group is I would really up the engagement posts for like the week before Black Friday. Do a lot of like this or that posts or get people, like, you know, the kind of posts that get people commenting with a little, with really low pressure where you're not focusing on sales whatsoever. You're just focusing on comments. So the more you can do that leading up to the week of Black Friday, the more you're going to um, at least know that those people and more people are going to be seeing your posts. That's just like a simple algorithm tip, but that's going to go a really long way in really creating exposure because yes, we're going to do personal reach outs. We're going to do all those things, but let's like make social media work for us and make it a little bit easier by using this next week to focus on engagement in a really lighthearted and simple way. Again, because, because we're heading into a high selling point, that's why we want to focus on engagement and like, just like, community and connection for the next week, knowing that we're going to flip the switch and ultimately be like hard selling for a few days. Sorry, just taking a sip of my water. I've um, got a bit of a sore throat this morning. I think that the weather is making our house a little bit drier. Uh, so I keep kind of waking up with like a scratchy throat. Anyways. Okay. So 
that's what you're going to do. And uh, over on Instagram, it looks like doing more stories, like maybe putting more stickers into your stories where people are voting on things or answering questions, like amp that up, amp up that in that engagement. And like, you know, in your feed, it may mean that you are posting more consistently in there. They're actually saying I'm taking a lot of Instagram courses right now because it's a really big focus inside of my social media strategy right now for me. And they're saying that like, it's really one to two posts in your feed right now that like is, and that, that are high value posts that are, or what are, what are building accounts right now, which really wasn't the case. Like I, when I learned from a social media expert, it was like three posts in your feed a week, three to five posts in your feed a week. And then like really spending your time in your stories. And now there's like, it's more, it's more layered on more, which is actually really okay. Because when you think about the way that you consume social media, I don't go over there and just check out people's um, feeds typically that are only sporadically there. I look for my tried, tested, and true people that I, like there's specific people when I hop on Instagram that I'm going to. People that, and truthfully, I use Instagram more as a learning platform. So I really find people that I want to dig into their content, that I want to watch their strategy unfold, like that I enjoy consuming their content. So that's just a little bit of a food for thought if you're over on Instagram or even on Facebook. Like sometimes we need to flip the story and ask ourselves how we like to consume content. And we need to start creating content in the way that we like to consume because oftentimes we are our own best target audience. And that will kind of give us this like little insider view on how the people that are following us want to engage in our content. Um, okay, so let's say, let's let's head over to the network marketers in the house. Let's say you're in network marketing and you know, either you know what the promotion is for Black Friday or you know when it launches. So let's say you're going into this with your eyes a little bit open, or maybe you've been a part of this company for a few years, so you watch what they typically do. And so you have a little bit of an idea. Now, I do think this is a little bit of a different year because the last couple of years have been like totally really pandemic heavy and like uh, I think companies had different strategies and we're kind of coming out of that now so you might see that some companies have different strategies this year um, either way this is when I would do a lot of booking right I would do a lot of booking and get a lot of insiders who are sharing with their friends and family and I think that I would set that up like I think typically I would have set that up in alter like in different Facebook groups I think this year if it was a really simple sale I would set those up in um in like Facebook messenger chats where you have a hostess, she adds her 10 friends and you drop those sales in as soon as they're released into a chat very little like conversation lead up like there's just not a lot of content in there because you don't want to overwhelm people inside of a group messenger but it will cut through the clutter and that you know that people will see that so you want to have a hostess who really is obsessed with it and you want her to really only involve people that she knows want to be in there so it's really about that I mean I actually do a couple different trainings on this inside the runway um, we do a lot of sales trainings in there if you're not in the runway, you guys, like come on over. Actually, the, the doors of the runway are closed right now, but you can join the wait list and there might be just a little opening during Black Friday. Who knows, right? That's kind of like one of the thing, one of the ideas that I'm tossing around. Um, anyways, I would maybe do a DM chat. I would, like you could do a Facebook group as well, but you do wanna have like these outside initiatives going on where you're reaching not only your VIP group, because I think most of us only think about selling to our VIP groups. We don't necessarily think about like, how do I extend this further? How do I sell to the friends and family of the people in my VIP group? So the more of these like little insider parties that you can set up, like truthfully, if you can do one, you can do 20 right? Because it's exactly the same content going into each one and it's going to explode your sales. And in something like this, where there's low dangling fruit, like a Black Friday sale, like more is more. These are the kind of opportunities where you want to lean in and go all in and just really, really take advantage of like that money that you can bring in. Like last year, um, I mean, this is kind of crazy, but last year um, our sale launched, I think, at like midnight so I waited up till midnight because there's this like crazy doorbuster thing and um, by the time I woke up in the morning I had made over ten thousand dollars 
like just in that one. And it wasn't just me, obviously it was like this, this team and this growth, but like, that's, that's the opportunity that's on your doorstep when you're building one of these businesses. And that's actually really what you build these businesses for. Right. Um, is like those, those big windfalls and those big moments and you, and you guys, you have to take advantage of those moments. So the more outside things that I could set up, I would. And then I'd get some like hype going in my VIP group. And I love doing like different kinds of things in my VIP group, like maybe a mystery hostess or another thing that I've done is like for every five or 10 orders, I draw a winner and there's a prize. And let's say you're the first or second people, like you continue to get in on those giveaways until, until they're over. So you're giving away a lot of things. I think one year I gave away, I just gave away like, a $25 gift certificate for every five orders that were placed or, and something like that. And what's interesting is that a lot of people come back and spend um, that gift certificate on the sale again. So it's driving even more sales. Or I've given away like the hostess rewards because you know that there's going to be an influx of orders. So there's going to be hostess rewards that are accumulating behind the scenes. Now, one of the ways to give away hostess rewards and a ho mystery hostess, again, I coach to this inside of the runway, but one of the ways that is just simply giving away the credits. The way that I actually like to do it is giving away um, <clears throat> things that I purchase with the credits. So it's more of a tangible item that they know they're getting. So like I'm giving away this pair of studs or I'm giving away this hand cream after the next five orders or something like that. And like behind the scenes, the workaround is that I'm using the credits that are accumulating from the orders being placed. And then you wanna be like really high service with the sale once it's announced. Doing personal reach outs, putting really great content into your VIP group. I often create a list of people that desire to be tagged when the announcement is made. And so I go in there and I tag all 30 of them to make sure that they've seen it. And I may even send them a personal message behind the scenes, be like, hey, I just wanna make sure that you saw my tag. I know Facebook can be super duper busy. And um, then I will, once I've done like all of that, like hustle and bustle work, then I will get to work on just like really creating good content that promotes the sale. So taking the individual items that are on sale, that are like the pieces that I know everybody is going to want and creating posts around those and starting to take like, I don't know, group orders or individual orders or whatever it is. So <clears throat> I... I don't want it to just be a sale, right? Where I slap up a link and I'm like, shop this thing and like, blah, blah, blah. Like I want to create something fun around it. You best know that people that are in your group are likely in other groups with the same company that you're promoting. So how can you set yourself apart? How can you be the one that they desire to shop with? How can you be the one that they're gonna host with or invite their friends to check out the sale from? And you guys use your personal Facebook profile as well because this, this is a huge sale. So um, I like to use huge sales to bring in new customers because it make the prices are so good that like, it, there's less of a barrier to entry, right? Like it's not, people People might take a risk on, on buying a pair of studs if they were $10 as opposed to $50 kind of thing. And you're also going to, if you're over on Instagram, I want you to use your stories to promote your Black Friday sale. And you get in there with like personal videos, with images, with all the things. We don't, we don't sell in our feed. I know. And you know, you see a lot of people doing this and they wonder why their accounts are flat, but we sell in our stories because that's where we connect. That's like the live stream of our lives behind the scenes. Right. So that's where we get to like, just come in and do our song and our dance, not in our feed. Okay. Let's say that you do not know what your company is doing, but you know that they're going to do something. So this kind of goes to what I was saying before you create the hype, you create the excitement and you can build like out your mystery hostess event. You can get it set up and just say like, when this is announced, this is what's happening. You can get like, you can almost do every single thing that I talked about in this, in that last segment. Um, 
you're just going to have to like kind of wade through like not knowing necessarily what the timeline is or when it's going to launch and just like start to collect those names that want to be tagged now start to like connect with people behind the scenes to be like this is coming i'm not sure what it was it was incredible last year let me know if you want to share it with your friends and family and like blah 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 or let me know blah blah, blah. If your company does nothing, my personal recommendation is to create something all your own. And you have two things that you can play with when you're creating something. You've got hostess rewards and you have got um, your commission. So you can play around with those to create your own promotion. And you likely have stock that's sitting around in your house that you could also use as well. So something that I've used to kind of drive sales is like, and especially it's, it's, we're heading into the holiday season right now. So you could do like a stuff you're stocking where every five orders that are placed, you're going to, or sorry, every order that is placed, you're going to drop a new item into the stocking. And what I do for that is I just use like stock that I've got around my house that I would put into a stock sale that's in like brand new condition. Like we all have a lot of that stuff kicking around and it goes into the stocking and you're really heavily promoting like the value of this stocking. And at the end, whatever you pick a time period, let's say four or five days where you believe you can drive a lot of sales. Um, you pick a day and you keep promoting it. And then you draw one winner who wins this entire stocking full of incredible goodies. You could also kind of use that as a mystery hostess where all the orders are going in and you're using the credits to divvy out the, the prizes. Um, so I, I kind of think like even when your company's not doing something, make a splash out there. This is still an opportunity to drive sales because there's a lot of consumers out there that are expecting Black Friday sales. And if, if like I know for me, I look to the websites of my top brands, the top places that I sell, I go and check out what they're doing for Black Friday. This is the same way that people are going to like hang out and peek into your VIP group, wondering what you're going to do, right? And wondering what your company's going to do. So this is really like such an easy way to set yourself apart from like the other women you're in your industry. And if you're a leader, share what you're doing with your team and share the work around and like how it works behind the scenes and help them figure out something that they can do as well in order to explode your sales and maybe even throw an incentive in there for your team like every order counts incentive for those that are wondering when an every order counts incentive is it's just really like every order gets grabs you a ballot to win some kind of prize um and i do that for my team quite often as a way just to like reward just all of the activity that's going on during these like high times, fun times. It's just kind of something extra and fun that you can layer on and like boost the morale of your team with. Okay, flipping the switch over to the online entrepreneurs in the house. You are creating something from scratch for your business, which is like so fun. And really the sky is the limit on what you can do. I, you know, I paid a lot of attention. Like last year I was like so excited because I was like, this is the first year where I can actually do something like diff totally different, like all my own, I'm going to create something. And like, what I did was I created all these mini courses and I announced them and dropped them with a promotion for Black Friday where they could be scooped up. But it, funnily enough, the courses don't actually exist now. They kind of were swallowed up by these bigger containers that I had, but Honestly, like when you're creating something all your own, it's all a part of the process, right? Like you have to take these steps forward in order to see the whole picture. And I think that's where a lot of online entrepreneurs often get tripped up is that we think we need to know what the end result is in order to move forward when it's like quite the opposite. Like you'll never know what it is or what it's supposed to be until you start taking steps forward. And I talk a lot about following the breadcrumbs. That's where it is, right? It's like, I only need to see that one breadcrumb that's right in front of me in order to take a step forward. So what you want to do when you're building something is ask yourself, like, what is my overarching goal? Like, what is it that I want to accomplish? And yes, obviously, for a lot of us, it's like, it's sales, right? Like we're looking for sales, we're looking for income. But more than that, what is it in your business right now that you want to drive, like, awareness to what is it that you want to build up right now for me like what I've realized is like this this foundation inside of my business is are two of my memberships the runway and the extraordinary women now most of you know what the runway is it's my like 
group coaching program for network marketers, kind of at every stage of their network marketing journey. Like I take them through my entire level up Academy and we literally build their business from scratch with a lot of, like I kind of break inside of a lot of modules or whenever I see an opportunity to do some sales training, I dig into that. Um, and then extraordinary women is this like, it, it's, um, it's a newer program for me that it's just like, I feel it's like it's my soul's purpose, but basically they, it's almost like an all access pass where they get access to every single one of my course, my entire course library when they're in there, they get access to my workshops, all my live workshops. I've got money going on right now. So they're all in there if they want to do it live, they get a couple different, um, workshops that are like mastermind style every single month. I do riffs on demand in there. Like I, it's a, it's a high level coaching program where you just kind of get it all. So for me, I've realized that these are two foundational pieces inside of my business. And I'm like, Hmm, I feel like I should build something around those two things. Now, on the other hand, like, I'm like, well, I've got all of these incredible courses. And what I've seen a lot of, um, online entrepreneurs do is take for Black Friday, take things that they've already created rather than like launching something new. They take things that these pieces that they've already created and create value around them, whether that's discounting or putting a, like a massive promotion on like things that they've already created courses or whatnot, or bundling them up together for like the ultimate, like bundle or something like that. Amanda Francis does that I believe she creates and the thing is is like Amanda Francis's strategy is that she creates this ultimate Black Friday bundle every single year and people come to know and expect that right so like when you can build that consistency into your business and you stick to that plan year after year after year after year you end up driving massive sales because it's almost like everything that you do in that one year builds on to the next every year people are like kind of salivating, wondering like, what is the bundle going to be this year? And like, what is it that like, in it's just kind of, it builds upon itself. And I'm almost liking like, is that a really fun way to kind of build something into my business? I don't know, like the sky is the limits, but you do want to ask yourself like, what, what goal do I have through this? What is it that I want to accomplish? Because it's never just sales based. Yes, we're going for income and all that, but let's think a little bit deeper than that. Let's be a little bit more strategic than that. Do we want, like if you are looking for mostly like a hands-free, then bundling up things that you've already created. Um, I One of the mentors that I've worked with this year is the Wild Femme. And last year, what actually got me in the door for them was they took all of the free masterclasses that they had had <clears throat> run throughout the year, which no one had any access to anymore. Like they literally, people only got access to them for, I believe like a two week period. And I think there was about 10 of them or something. They bundled those up into a black Friday, um, bundle and they sold those for like a ridiculously low price but the interesting strategy inside of that and the really tactical level, like area in that is that now all of these master classes that led people into bigger programs are now in people's hands and people are getting exposure to that level of coaching and my guess and I know it worked for me is those people are now hopping into bigger containers hopping into bigger promotions because they've had this taste of what the coaching is like on the inside. So we get to think more strategic. We get to think more long-term and we get to sell, sell, sell. Like it's really going to be a lot of fun, I think. And I always think about it too, is like, I just want to like give a lot of value to the women in my world. I want to always make sure that what I'm creating and what I'm promoting is to the utmost, like that is like, it, it's made for them. So for me, I wouldn't like I wouldn't throw a promotion around a brand new mastermind, I don't think, because it almost discounts something that's coming up. Like I would want to take something that I've already done, already created, that isn't going to create more work for me so that it's just gravy. And that's the beautiful thing about creating digital courses. And I'm going to talk a, little, a lot more about that on my social media. If you follow me over at Ms. L Irvin, you will see that I'm transitioning to a lot of like how to content in terms of like really launching this brand new businesses that you're working on. And I'm loving it. The response has been massive, but I want to just kind of take the guesswork out of it and make it easier for you. But like, I want you to think long-term, like what, 
we're creating serious passive income over here where we create something once and we can sell that until the end of time. There is nothing more powerful like than that. It's amazing. It gets you off that hamster wheel and all of a sudden like you can just continue to make income off. It's so interesting. It's such a, it's such a wild, wild, wild world, you guys. Okay. So there are my Black Friday tips for you. I would love, 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 love to hear what you're doing. Share over on social media, Ms. Lori Irvin, or if you're one of my, one of my network marketing friends, make sure that you're following my new level up account. It's um, at level up with Lori. I give a different business tip. Um, typically once a day, if not five times a week, whatever, sometimes a couple times a day, it just kind of depends what's going on in my world, but I'm really going to be leaning into that account and doing a lot more, a lot more coaching for network marketers over in that account. Like key, just takeaways, things that you can take and run with in your own business, things that you can share with your teams. And, um, it will be solely network marketing focused. So at this, at life with Lori, no, sorry. Oh my goodness. At level up with Lori. Yes, Lori, the name of your company. Okay. So that's it for this week. Share over on social media, tag me. I'll give you a tag back together. We are building community, online communities, online platforms. I'm so incredibly thankful for you. And I want to hear what you got cooking for black Friday. Share, share, share. Remember, this is the time where you lean into your business, where you drive a lot of your income and where you get to have a lot of fun. This kind of selling is so much fun. And so I want you, if you're feeling stressed, you're feeling overwhelmed, I want you to choose to see this differently. I want you to, I want you to see this as an opportunity. I want you to see this as like a sport, as fun, like get up and dance and have fun with it. All right, you guys, I hope you have an incredible week. I will see you inside the next episode.